Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I want to do an update what's going on with the volcanic activity there in Hawaii, particularly uh, Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Mauna Loa is currently at an alert level of yellow. According to the advisory, the volcano is exhibiting signs of elevated unrest above known background levels. During the past week, HVO seismometers recorded 36 small earthquakes on the volcano's summit and upper elevation flanks. Most of the earthquakes occurred at shallow depths of less than 8 kilometers, 5 miles, below ground level. Global Positioning Systems GPS measurements show continued slow summit inflation, consistent with the magna supply to the volcano's shallow storage system. Mauna Loa and Kilauea are one in the same that they get their magma supply from the same system, but because of different plumes coming up, uh, feeding into the system, one will often, well, they basically both inflate at the same time, but one will erupt where the other one doesn't. I've talked about the two different slumps off the coast of Hawaii. The largest slump or landslide that ever occurred there on the island of Hawaii was actually off the side, the western side of Mauna Loa. And then there was also another slump off the uh, southern end of Hawaii. Kilauea, since it's been growing in size and activity, seems to be acting as a doorstop for the movement of Mauna Loa. Both of these areas are moving south. But since the growth of Kilauea, the movement of Mauna Loa has slowed down. So they believe it's acting as a doorstop from preventing another, another major landslide or a slump. Another interesting thing that I saw today was these recent earthquakes along this rift zone. Now this rift zone is part of one ancient gigantic slump system that went from from Kilakeu Bay, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, sorry, all the way down to what they call the South Point. This rift zone that I have drawn out in red is basically the fault system that caused this huge landslide. And then we got the uh, East Rift Zone, which has caused other slumps, other landslides. And both of those events occurred after a large eruption and a very large earthquake. Here in this paper, I'll give you a link to it. It says the system of older faults, similar to that to uh, Hilna Pali faults, exist on the southeastern side of Mauna Loa. These faults apparently formed before Kilauea became large enough to impede the seaward movement of Mauna Loa. And they have an image here, three different images, showing the collapse of Mauna Loa. How it took out, yeah, basically that whole side of the island. Let me bring it down for you. If that were to happen today, there would be tremendous loss of life. And I know many of you have heard about the water that has formed at the bottom of the caldera there at Kilauea. According to a document from Oregon State Ed. They said that the prevailing idea is that when magma drains suddenly from a summit region, support of the caldera floor is removed and collapse occurs. Groundwater is then able to flow inward towards the hot volcanic plumbing, and it flashes to steam, producing phreatic eruptions, or preomatic eruption. And they also have images here of the flows from the collapse of the side of Mauna Loa and over here on the southern edge of, um, um, I guess that would be the Helena um, Slump. Probably pronouncing that wrong, too. Here's a more recent image from USGS of the water that's down in the bottom of that crater. It's obvious, too, with all the recent earthquakes along the rift zones, that the magma system, yeah, it's, it's still working. It's still coming up. I'm still pumping up magma, even though there's not currently any lava breaking through to the surface. 
And according to USGS, and we know they don't report all the earthquakes, there's been 144 earthquakes, uh, 145 earthquakes, if you want to count the one off the coast there, um, in the last week. So just something for you guys to think about, you know, the different things that could happen. Um, yeah, what if there was a, a major eruption at Kilauea that set off the movement of Mauna Loa, could we possibly have uh, landslides on both sides of the uh, the island? Yeah, anything's possible, I suppose. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.